Hi, Jeremy Yang here. I'm an informatics PhD student at Indiana University and a biomedical data scientist at the University of New Mexico and Data to Discovery, an IU spinoff company. All co-authors are from these three organizations. I'm pleased to be presenting our work to the Bioinformatics Open Source Conference 2021 on behalf of our team. NIH programs links Library of Integrated Network-Based Cellular Signatures, and IDG, illuminating the druggable genome, have generated rich open access data sets for the study of the molecular basis of human health and disease. Links expression signatures provide unbiased transcriptomic and genomic experimental evidence. IDG provides compiled and curated knowledge for illumination and prioritization of novel drug target hypotheses. We believe that together these resources can support a powerful new approach to identifying novel drug targets for complex diseases. Integrating links in IDG, we built KGAP, Knowledge Graph Analytics Platform, for identification and prioritization of drug target hypotheses. This open source project was a collaborative effort involving software developers and scientists. This schematic diagram illustrates the integrated knowledge graph and logic. From Link's experiments, gene expression signatures quantified the effect of small molecule perturbogens on a diverse array of cell lines. IDG associates drugs with diseases via approved drug indication and facilitates rapid and in-depth drug ability evaluation for associated genes. The IDG resource Drug Central from UNM is a compendium of compiled and curated knowledge about drugs approved by the leading regulatory agencies. Drugs are approved for specific indications, a clinical condition for which the drug has been proven effective and safe by clinical trials, according to strict standards of evidence. In addition, Drug Central includes compiled and curated drug target relationships, targets for which a specific biochemical mechanism of action has been elucidated and published or annotated as such. KGAP employs drug central drug indications to represent a disease via associated drug set. KGAP also employs known targets from drug central to assess and validate results. KGAP was implemented using the Neo4j graph database free and open source community edition. This slide lists the contents of the knowledge graph as entities and relationships and the metagraph of types. Neo4j is not the only good choice of graph databases, but its extensive array of APIs and UIs, its interoperability with community standards, and its large and vibrant user and developer communities confer many benefits. Our lead developer for the graph database was Joel Dirksen. The basic KGAP algorithm for drug target illumination is as follows. A disease query is mapped to a drug set via drug indications. Optionally, the drug set may be filtered by anatomical and therapeutic classification, ATC code, or biomedical coherence. In other words, and in general, we are more interested in disease modifying drugs and less in drugs which relieve symptoms. From the drug set, a query on the knowledge graph generates scores and ranks for associated genes by aggregating paths of gene expression evidence. Finally, we compare the results against the gold standard mechanism of action targets for the same disease via rock curve, the receiver operator characteristic. Our graph analytics algorithms lead was Chris Gessner. This slide shows the rock curve for Parkinson's disease using two variations of the graph analytics method and either mechanism of action or all known targets. The area under the curve AUC is a figure of merit and varies between 0.65 and 0.74. The highest for an algorithm including the z-score weighted strength of the expression signal and mechanism of action targets. These results show an enrichment between the aggregated expression profiles from links and the independent knowledge sources of the literature corpus. This agreement supports the inference that since our method can independently rediscover known targets, it is capable of discovering new targets. Parkinson's disease continues to inflict severe harm on human health and resist traditional research approaches. Parkinson's is complex in its polygenic physiology and in its clinical presentation and progression. 
Parkinson drugs were the analysis starting points and associated genes were evaluated as target hypotheses. Specifically, IDG resource 10X, target importance and novelty explorer, was used to rank and filter the results. 10X is a bibliometric tool defining importance and novelty from mentions and co-mentions of diseases and genes in the PubMed literature. One high-ranking but understudied gene, synaptogyrin 3, was manually investigated further by the molecular biologist on our team, Jessica Binder, as a case study and plausible new drug target for Parkinson's based on published experimental and theoretical links with statin drugs. A prototype web UI was developed, Lydia links IDG drug target elimination application built with the open source Flask framework. This is the landing page. This shows Lydia output for Parkinson's uh, query described in our paper. Our web application developer and recent Indiana PhD graduate Murat Ostrich did a great job in learning a lot in a very short time to meet our grant proposal deadline. Team member Daniel Beaver was lead for workflow and UI testing and usability. We submitted a manuscript describing our research, which as of this writing is in the second cycle of revision and review with a preprint available via BioArchive. Links to the paper, source code and data set are available from the slides and accompanying uh, BOSS 2021 poster. Regarding next steps and future directions, if uh, funding is awarded, this will support specific aims, including production quality knowledge graph, a completed Lydia, KGAP-based research in three disease areas. We are eager to collaborate with experimentalists and medical scientists to evaluate results and extend this work. Plans for community development and engagement include involving data science students from IU and UNM and facilitating open science through an open platform for development and application science. For more information, refer to these papers and websites. Links and IDG are large international consortia, both from the NIH Common Fund with diverse contributors and extensive public resources to offer. In conclusion, combining links and IDG via KGAP has empowered the investigation of the molecular basis of complex diseases, and specifically identification and prioritization of novel drug targets. The generality of the approach indicates that KGAP is applicable to many disease areas in addition to Parkinson's disease. It's been a great pleasure to work with the team depicted in this slide, and I thank them all for their efforts and support. And thanks to the Bioinformatics Open Source Conference organizers and sponsors for this opportunity to present.